Green Bear. Chimichurri! What did I tell you? Oh, whoa, whoa, with a flag. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, here I go. Thank you. My fellow Americans! Keep waving it. Okay, okay. As you know, I expect all of you to be excellent Americans. And what does it mean to be an American? Well, one, it means to vote for Green Bear for president. It means other things. And it also means other things, as I'm told. So this book is going to help you be a great American so that you can vote for me. Okay, thank you very much. Ba 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 Okay. Uh, what does it mean to be an American besides voting for Green Bear for President of the United States one day when he's old enough? Well, there are other things. I mean, aren't there? Let's find out. What does it mean to be a good American? Does it mean liking apple pie and fireworks? Yes, definitely! Well, but don't you know little kids who get scared of fireworks and don't like them? Oh. Well, that is true. And didn't you once tell me that you preferred chocolate pie over apple pie? Oh no! Oh no! Does this mean I am not a good American and will never be president? Actually, no. Oh, oh I feel better now. Okay, see? So you can like apple pie and fireworks, but it doesn't mean that makes you an American. Does it mean living in the United States? Well, not exactly. You could be an American living abroad, for example. Doesn't mean loving fast food. <laughs> no, you can love fast food from just about anywhere. Do we have more fast food than most? Probably. Being American means believing that all people are equal. And bears! And bears are equal and should have the opportunity to be happy. Play ball! Following our dreams. That's a very big American trait. And working hard to achieve those dreams. Hey, Lady Liberty, isn't she beautiful? It means having the freedom to choose whom we love, what we believe, what we do, where we live. In fact, America was founded on that principle that you could have freedom of religion, for example. That was one of the founding principles. And another American principle, to change our minds if we want. That's freedom of choice. And you have lots of choices. Look at that. You can choose to love a zebra. You could choose to ride a bicycle. You could choose to love this other kind of creature. You can choose those glasses or those glasses. See, we have so many choices here. Knowing all Americans follow the same rules, honoring those who protect and serve us. That's an important part of being an American. Cherishing our abundant natural resources. No. And enjoying the time spent outdoors. Selfie time. What does it mean to be an American? Being grateful all year for our many blessings including Thanksgiving, and leading by example to take action when people need help. What does it mean to be an American? Welcoming people from other countries and helping them learn what it means to be American. Appreciating that our differences make us kinder, smarter, healthier, and stronger. That's because we learn from each other using our imagination and creativity to invent new things and our curiosity and courage to explore new frontiers, even outer space, and then being proud of all that we've accomplished and humble about all we still need to learn. Because, oh, well, you know what this page means? It's just, it's really a compilation of all the incredible things that we've done in the United States, like we, the first cars. And that's the original looking car, modern car. The original supercomputer and then the modern day laptop. This is where flight was born. Look at the original Wright Brothers plane. And then NASA, the space shuttle into space and, and voting rights. These are all things that we are proud to have accomplished. But when you know a lot and when you've done a lot, you know that there is so much more to know and so much more to do. And that keeps you humble and working hard for those dreams. Being American means having the right to become your best self 
and the obligation, the duty, to help others do the same. So, fill your heart with love for who we are and your mind with ideas of how you, your family, and your friends can make the greatest nation in the world even better. That's right. Even if you're a little kid, you already make the world a better place with the gifts that you have to offer. So make sure that you spread those gifts around. And I love the back of the book. You can always freeze it if you want to zoom in and look at all the tiny words close up. But one of the really cool things that I love about it is that it talks about how being an American means to follow your dreams and working hard. And it gives us some incredible examples like Abraham Lincoln, who grew up in a one room log cabin and became the 16th president of the United States. I can't wait till I'm inside one of those books. I know, me too. And Walt Disney, who followed his dreams despite several financial setbacks and became what? A pioneer in the American animated film industry and not to mention the parks. <laughs> That's right. Helen Keller, Ella Fitzgerald, the amazing singer. We read a book about her and and Simone Biles, you've probably heard of her. She was a gymnast. Uh, she is a famous American gymnast and Olympian who was a foster kid. I mean, that's tough. And then it's full of all kinds of things. And But here's what the last thing I want to show you. I don't know if you can zoom in. But that right there, Lady Liberty, our Statue of Liberty. And it has the entire poem that is inscribed on her right there on the plaque and the famous last parts of it right here. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. That's such a pretty line and you know what that means? You know like when somebody leaves a light on for you when you're coming home at night, lighting your way? That's what she's doing. She's lighting the way to the doorway to your new home when you would come in through Ellis Island way back in the day. And that is what it means to be an American. So now you are ready to be a good American and follow your dreams, work hard, just like I plan to work hard to become the President of the United States of America, and I might add, the first green president. I'm already very proud about it. Okay, kid, go off and be awesome and follow your dreams. I'm gonna go follow my dreams right now, shoot. And there he goes. So yes, let's all go follow our dreams. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time.